Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited because this video is sponsored by our friends with Zaxby's Chicken Fingers and Buffalo Wings. This is going to be my first Zaxby's experience. I've never had it before. I've always wanted to try it though because I've heard such great things about their menu, especially about Zaxby's Signature Chicken Sandwich and then their Zax Sauce. There's two locations here in Springfield, Missouri. There's over 700 locations nationwide. Let's go pick up my giant order, come back here and film our final video at my Springfield apartment. All right, I am back in my kitchen slash living room with this massive Zaxby's feast. All of this food was just over $80 with tax and I am very happy about that because I had a lot of food sitting in front of me. The staff at the South Springfield, Missouri location where I went, they were super helpful. I told them it was my first time trying Zaxby's and it looks like they gave me some great recommendations. But we've got three of their signature chicken sandwiches. Each is made with 100% white chicken breast meat and then there is the Zax sauce and then each one has three premium pickles along with the buns. And then over here, I liked a little bit of spicy food, not too spicy, so I went with three of their spicy signature chicken sandwiches. Each of the chicken sandwiches have double hand-dipped breaded chicken, so I'm excited for these, but it's called Zaxby's Chicken Fingers and Buffalo Wings, so I wanted to explore the menu since it's my first time, in addition to just trying these sandwiches. So I did go with 10 traditional wings. I got the original sauce on that. And then over here, we've got 10 of their boneless wings, just a notch higher on the spice pull uh, from the list of wing options that they have. But the 10 boneless wings here have their tongue tort sauce. And then we did go with 10 of their chicken fingers. So nothing on those. I'll just dip them in some of the Zach sauce or the spicy Zach sauce. I definitely have a lot of those. But then I asked the staff uh, which sides I should go with and I got a bunch of recommendations. Over here, we've got a whole order of their fried mushrooms with ranch. Those are gonna be great. I think those are some of the best sellers, along with the fried pickles have become really popular. I love cheese, so I had to go with an order of their white cheddar bites. I already tried one earlier and it was amazing. And then over here, I actually wasn't gonna try any of their fries, but then some of them said that I needed to. They gave me a sample and I loved it. So we do have a small order of their fries. I've got all of this food here. I'm just gonna see how long it takes to aggressively enjoy it while reviewing it for you guys. But let's get this challenge started. All right, this is my final video being filmed in my Springfield apartment. It is time soon to move to my new house that I bought with Katina Eats Kilos in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But big thank you to my friends with Zaxby's Chicken Fingers and Buffalo Wings for this delicious feast. My friend Nathan Figueroa, he did a video where he ate 10 of Zaxby's Signature Chicken Sandwiches five original, five spicy. I went with three of each based on how in pain he was when he finished all 10. I wanted to explore more of the menu since this is my first time, but time to shut up and eat, starting with an original signature chicken sandwich, and then I'll do a spicy. One, two, three, boom. All right, let's dig in. Not gonna add any extra sauce or anything. Let's just enjoy it how it is with these premium pickles. The bread or the bun looks delicious too. A bit of one of those pickles, that is good. That is a thick double C chicken breast. This is yummy and juicy so far. That is an amazing sandwich. The big question now is whether I'm gonna like this one or the spicy more. I'm thinking spicy, we'll see. Each sandwich has three pickles, I like the consistency. Nathan didn't eat the pickles, because he doesn't like pickles. I love pickles, so let's feast. There is definitely a kick to that. It's not over the top spicy, but you can definitely tell there's spicy sauce. And I do appreciate this, that breading's coming off a little bit, uh, sticking to some of the sauce. It's definitely hand breaded, which is legit. This is a delicious sandwich. And because it's thick, it's very juicy. 
very thankful there's more. Let's have another original. We'll probably add a little Zach sauce to this one. They go mild on the sauce, but then you can add more. It really doesn't need the sauce. It's delicious. The breading is seasoned already. It's a good sandwich. We'll dip the last bite. One bite, everybody knows the rules. We're six minutes and 40 seconds in. It is not one bite, you have to eat all of it. I'm just so glad to be here in Springfield with Arthur filming again, I've missed him. Let's try some of the spicy Zach sauce. All right, done with four. I went to the South Springfield location and one of the uh, people there was a subscriber. So everybody was getting excited when I was putting in the order and everything. And a lot of them were saying they can't finish more than one sandwich. And now I know why. I'm glad I didn't get 10 in addition to all this. But let's switch over to, we'll have one of these 10 original sauce wings. I'm gonna try that in the Zach sauce. Spicy Zach sauce. The uh, original sauce definitely isn't too spicy. We'll see how spicy the sauce on these boneless wings are, the tongue torch. Time for some healthy celery. I'm the worst at setting my own challenges. I always go too hard. <laughs> we have a, a challenge in front of us here, but I think we're gonna get it. The uh, wall of celery has been demolished. So 16 minutes and 12 seconds in, it's time to finish off these 10 tongue torch boneless wings. They look and smell amazing. We'll see how spicy they are. Yeah, they're a little bit spicier than those others. What I'm most happy about is they were pretty busy when I went up and ordered, but they still got the order 100% accurate, even though I ordered a lot. I gotta go with Tongue Torch over the original, just because of the added kick. Let's try it in just the original Zach sauce. That is good, good. I don't, I'm gonna go with boneless wings over the traditional as far as being preferred uh, with Zaxby's, but now I think I'm gonna like these the most. This is, we've got 10 of their chicken fingers. We'll dip it in both the Zax sauce and then the spicy Zax sauce. Just like the chicken breasts, I'm gonna say they've got plenty of seasonings in the breading and everything already, but I'm mostly just using the Zax sauce because it's delicious too, and it's helping me get it all down faster. Three chicken fingers left. And then we're back to the chicken sandwiches. Signature chicken sandwiches. These chicken fingers were good, but we are now almost done. Yes, we're done with the chicken fingers. We still have two signature sandwiches left. Let's do the original first and then we'll finish off with the spicy. Then we'll do all these sides, shareables, appetizers. Ooh, they look good too. Right. Enjoy these pickles on here too, they weren't lying. Ooh, those are good. Thirty-five minutes, fifty seconds in. I do have to say that I really enjoy the original signature chicken sandwich, but I've gotta go with the spicy as being my preferred. This has been delicious. I'm glad I don't have eight or 10 sandwiches. I'm glad I just got six. Still have sides to go after this, but ooh, delicious sandwiches. 
definitely a must try if you've never had one already and you live near one of the over 700 Zaxby's locations around the country. Last bite of the spicy signature chicken sandwich. With an ending pickle. Like I said earlier, the staff was amazing. They were really helpful answering all my questions. They said definitely go with the fried mushrooms, so we're gonna start with those, and then I think we'll go over to the pickles. We'll try it without ranch. That is good. Start with the ranch. They're thick mushrooms, too. I like that. I wish Arthur would take a couple pieces for me, but we've got to do it. Last bites of the mushroom. These are apparently newer on the menu, so they wanted me to try these. I do like the breading. It's not like too thick or anything like that. And some pretty thick pickles. The same pickles, pretty much, I think, that were on the signature chicken sandwiches. Yeah, not too salty. Real good. It's almost like a fish breading. I don't really know how else to explain it. I am excited for these. I, they said that these are pretty good too, but these are the white cheddar bites dipped in marinara sauce. Marinara sauce, dipping sauce is pretty good. We are done. Last but not least, we are gonna use one Zach sauce and one spicy Zach sauce. I don't always enjoy crinkle cut fries, but these are delicious. They don't need the Zach sauce, but we're using it anyway. When all this food was sitting in front of me, it would have scared me. One bite at a time though, we got that. I can definitely say I would have finished a lot faster if I wasn't an idiot and had some diet soda to help me along the way, but even with water, we are getting it down just because this food has been so delicious. But last bites, we've got the self-created victory. All done. I cannot say enough just great things about all the food that I just feasted on. I was able to finish in under one hour, 58 minutes and 23 seconds. So all of that Zaxby's food was amazing. Big thank you to Zaxby's. I know this was sponsored, but either way, that was just a legit meal. Really enjoyed both of those different signature chicken sandwiches. As far as the shareables go, the sides, really enjoyed the fried pickles. Definitely, I'm glad they recommend it. It's one of their top sellers. The fried mushrooms. I enjoyed the white cheddar cheese bites. Those were great. And then the fries were great on the side too. I knew going into this that those were gonna be good because I tried some while I was there. I enjoyed the chicken fingers. I enjoyed the traditional wings. And I especially enjoyed those boneless wings. So if you've been to Zaxby's and you tried either the original signature chicken sandwich or the spicy signature chicken sandwich, let me know down below in the comments what you thought, which did you prefer, what'd you think. I know I enjoyed them, but I'm looking forward to reading your guys' feedback. And if you have not been to a Zaxby's, if you were like me before filming this video, you don't know what you're missing, check one out near you, try it out, and then get back on this video and let me know what you thought. So thank you guys again. Until my next home video filmed up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I hope you always, always, always when before you begin, this is Randy Santel, Atlas. Thank you guys for watching.